had so many calls on it, and even though we ran it not too long ago, uh, people are just enthralled with a dog named Rodeo. Here's Dave Walker. I'll be second last. I'll be last. She's gonna Thousands be flee their homes as a levee breaks near Olivehurst. Get out, Jim and Janice Thompson are told. They escape their home in minutes. Left behind, horses, cattle, and several dogs, including a border collie named Rodeo. I woke up this morning waiting for you to show my house. I knew you would. And as daylight breaks, Live Copter 3 pilot Michael Kidd spots Rodeo perched on an ever-shrinking rooftop. We saw him sitting there, forlornly just out uh, on the rooftop. With Throughout the day, as the water laps ever higher, viewers anxiously wonder, will Rodeo be rescued? Toward nightfall, Rodeo is still there, staring at the encroaching water. It's a desperate scene tugging at the hearts of viewers and Michael Kidd and photographer Ron Middlecoff, hovering above. The dog just sitting there, the water's going up, you know, the dog's, you know, doesn't have much longer and you know what the right thing to do is. And uh, I think, I don't know which one of us said it first, but just, we got to get the dog. And uh, Ron was up for it and, you know, he really hung himself out there, literally, and uh, we did it. It was uh, kind of risky, but it was worth it. One foot on the skids, one foot on the roof, one hand on the inside rail, and one hand leaning out, calling for the dog. And, just kind of kept leaning in, trying to get... What's Rodeo doing as you're calling for him? Shivering, with, with just petrified. And uh, I kind of leaned back in to tell Michael, lower, look forward, straight, let, you know, little direction. And he put it in, Michael put that right on the dime. And he'd have given you nine cents change. And that dog <laughs> stuck his neck out just far enough, got him by the collar, and I mean, I just... Pulled one him in. lift in. And I said, lift off. And I mean, he just, he pulled up and the dog was in. I slammed the door shut and we were out of there. High fives all the way. I mean, talk about an adrenaline rush. Yeah, I heard a lot of laughing and screaming going on back there. Oh and, man, uh, it was great. I finally, I looked back there and this dog is just hugging Ron. And throughout the night, the dog is just looking at him like, love at first sight. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Watching Rodeo's TV rescue, Janice Thompson cherished the moment in an otherwise bitter day of loss. And to find Rodeo in the house was a, a kind of like a spark of, of hope. And finally, the reunion. <laughs> Guy, hi. Well, how are you doing? How are you doing? How you doing? Thank you. I'm glad you were able to do it. Waited under by doggy biscuits, well-wishers, and colleagues, Michael, Ron, and a dog named Rodeo, brought Northern Californians a brief respite from the ongoing deluge of misery and disaster. Oh, what a fantastic story. You never we, can get enough of that. No, one. you can't, and we told it earlier, but uh, they landed out there, and I think Michael Kidd mentioned that Ron really, really likes hamburgers. Really, really likes hamburgers, <laughs> and they're his kibbles and bits. And uh, uh, I guess when they landed at Executive Airport, there were about 25 to 30 people with hamburgers for oh, Ron that's great. and dog biscuits for uh, Rodeo. So what did uh, Michael get? Wow, oh, Michael. Poor Michael. My, I'm sure. My, actually, you know what Michael did get? They both got marriage, marriage proposals, proposals that's but right. they're both taken. And they got faxes and all sorts of things. Yeah. And uh, but they said they refused the label of hero. That it was the. Uh, um, that they weren't heroes, that, but w they watched heroes all morning long in terms of the uh, National Guard and the uh, uh, Coast Guard folks who uh, worked to get the people out of all of hers this morning. Mm -hmm.